I want to thank God, first of all, for all of you being alive in this day. I want to thank God for being faithful to His Word. They that trust in the Lord shall be strong. They shall be like the oak tree. And I want you to remain with your faith, trusting in the Lord and allowing the Lord to do exactly in your life what He says He will do by His Word. It's from a dry place, but the presence of God is right there in the dry place to see that they be matured, gaining favor with God and with men as it ought to be. And you are trying to save them. Can I say you cannot save them? Do not judge things before it's time. I got to say, now God, I got a good spin on this. I want to say thank you. Come on, somebody. Could we just say thank you, Lord? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, I want us to break some stuff because the mindsets are there. And we cannot be in Christ and still have mindsets that are still in bondage. We got to set these mindsets free. And I want all of us to be free because the Heavenly Father still sits on the throne. And He say, acknowledge me when you pray father and the more we learn to do this i'm telling us you will see the freedom that comes to your life amen i want us to understand we got to come in whole agreement and if you have to wait a hundred years wait a hundred years if you have to wait 10 years wait 10 years but don't be hurry don't be in no hurry but wait on the lord he speaks in part why he is preparing you for the long haul of a thing this is not no 100 meter dash no it's a long haul of things and i need to develop you so i can speak to you the end and then start from the very beginning to reach that end you gotta trust me it tells us that we can never divorce ourselves from the principle of the hearing of what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to the church. We are the church. Regardless of how we feel, we are the church. Regardless of where we have found ourselves, we are the church. Or let me put it this way, I am of Christ. know the chemistry of that you see I sit in the chemistry class and when you understand how chemicals just make you can mix and you can shake and know how long you can dance and how you will wake up after and how you feel in your body and I had that too so I was none this until the Lord called and I said yes so let's go to Jacob Let's go to Israel. One man. He is a single individual, but yet still he is a nation. He is a family, but yet still they are a nation. Let's go to how do you see yourself? 
as just an individual? A family from an individual? What do you see, sir? And until we learn that kind of step, I'm telling you all. <laughs> and I've learned that through life now. Many are the plans in the hearts of a man, but it's God that brings it to pass. And before it comes to pass, he has to prepare your heart for it. I like the preparation of heart for it. Because it fulfills what he says now. When God bless you, the blessing don't add no sorrow. So he prepares you for it. This is what the Lord wants. This is what the Lord is doing. Allow him to fulfill this and do this for your life. But I just want to take it from verse 30. And hear what it says. And this is God. I look for a man among them. Among who? Among his people in Jerusalem. Where judgment is to come. I am still looking as how Abraham had the conversation with God. But I found none. Since I took that to heart. And I say, God, forgive me. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, don't grumble. You all don't grumble. You have all the days home before your screen. But hold the word of God in a time like Joseph. Gather it, you know. Because a time is coming. A time is coming. A time is coming. And the time has come in certain nations. When not even your shepherd you will be able to see or hear. Because we'll have to run for cover for our lives. The word will not be able to come on to you as it is coming even now. But right now those who are playing fool with giving themselves to receive the word and storing it in your hearts. A time is coming when no man will be able to work. We figure this is the time. No, this is not the time. This is not that time yet. But it's leading up to that time. I pray God your people will hear and understand and turn away from carnality. There are many of your sons and daughters that have converted over to darkness. They have given your temple over to a kind of lifestyle that is, that is not right before your eyes, God. And they need to turn away from this lifestyle before it is too late. A lot of them right now are sleeping like the five foolish because they have found themselves in the systems of this world, oh God. When they should have been making the temple ready to gather together at the appointed time, Lord, they are like the world sleeping. You have to be ready. And I pray God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we ready our spirit man for whichever way. I'm ready, God. I'm ready for you. I'm ready. Even if death come, I'm ready, Lord. Even if death come. So you all, listen. It's time to ready your life for the Lord. Turn away. Those of you who have taken the word and the spirit say, give your life to the Lord. Listen to me. Give your life to the Lord. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus. Strengthen those that continue to press towards the mark, regardless of what. They're holding the faith and they continue to endure, Father, as a good soldier. May they keep on going and look at the things that so easily beset and trip them that they would not trip no more. Not this wrong. I ain't going to fall into this nonsense. But Lord, keep them safe from the evil one. And I want to say thank you for doing this in Jesus' name. And everybody says, Amen and Amen. So, but for now, believers, do you believe?